Hey everyone, I'm Bradley, and welcome to Zlangle. There were tons of absolutely shocking moments and events that took place in Avengers Infinity War, and I want to list the most surprising to me. So obviously, this is filled with spoilers, but seeing the box office, it's hard to imagine there's too many people left that haven't seen it yet. So, here we go. Starting with number 7, Doctor Strange giving up the Time Stone. Despite saying at the beginning of the film that he would let Tony and Peter die before letting Thanos have the stone, at the end, he offers it up if Thanos spares Tony's life. At first, I was thankful that Iron Man didn't perish, but also understandably disappointed that Doctor Strange would have done something so stupid. The Stephen Strange I know wouldn't put any one single life above the fate of the universe. But as Doctor Strange dies as a result of Thanos getting all the stones, he explains to Tony that it was the only way to win. He had seen all possible futures, and only in one of them do they win. So it looks like Doctor Strange knew what he was doing, and it might take Thanos winning at first for the Avengers to win in the end. Number 6 is a pretty important event that will forever affect the MCU the destruction and murder of the Asgardians. After Thanos visits the ship that carries the last of the Asgardians, it seems as if Thor and Hulk were the only survivors of the attack. It was a perfect way for the filmmakers to illustrate the power and lack of mercy that Thanos possesses. But it brings a lot of questions that I hope we get answers to. Like, does that mean that the newly introduced Valkyrie is dead? And what about the other newcomers, Korg and Meek? And what does this mean for the Thor franchise going forward? They might have said in the film that only half of the Asgardians were killed. I'll need to watch it again to make sure but we'll have to wait for Avengers 4 to find out. Number 5 is closely tied with the previous entry. It's the death of Loki. I already wasn't certain about the likelihood of Loki making it through this one, but even so, it was still sad to see him go, which is strange because we've seen him die multiple times before. But like they said in the film, this time no resurrections. It would feel cheap to bring him back again, so I'm pretty confident that Loki will stay dead this time. Number 4 was Iron Man being stabbed by Thanos. I thought that was the end of Tony, I truly did. I didn't see any way out of the situation, and I certainly didn't see Strange bargaining for his life. So when Tony and Thanos went one-on-one, -on -one, and that happened, I was already preparing my farewells for the pioneer of the MCU. And I'm glad it went another way, but it was definitely a great moment in the film. Number 3, The Red Skull. This was honestly the thing that had my jaw dropped the longest. I could not believe what my eyes were seeing. We have all been wondering what had happened to Red Skull ever since the first Captain America, where they left the fate of the character open-ended but it's still a question if we'll ever see him again, so I guess he'll continue to be a mystery despite getting our last mystery about him answered. Next, at number 2, Thanos killing half the universe. We all knew this was a possibility. It was actually the whole point of the film, all of the heroes trying to stop Thanos from doing just that. But I didn't expect him to win, and a couple moments near the end, I thought they had bested him. When Wanda destroyed the Mind Stone, and when Thor stabbed him in the chest with Stormbreaker, I thought that would be it. But no, just when you think it's over, he does it. He snaps his fingers, and what Thanos had promised all along happened. Half the life in the universe died. Number 1, which again is closely associated with the previous entry, is who died. Even though I didn't expect this to be the outcome, I especially didn't expect who would be the ones to go. Doctor Strange, who's only had one film so far, Black Panther, who's had one of the biggest successes of the franchise, being the highest critically rated and highest grossing solo superhero film. We have Falcon, Scarlet Witch, most of the Guardians, including Groot. And of course, Spider-Man. Since he has a sequel coming, and Sony would never let Marvel Studios actually kill him off, I do have doubt whether these characters will stay dead. But putting that aside, it was probably the biggest thing they could have done to make us stare in disbelief at what was happening. There were so many major players that were killed off in the end, that it looks pretty silly to go back and look at other people's predictions on who would be the character to die in the film. So that's my list of the 7 most shocking moments of the latest Avengers film, Infinity War. What did you think of these scenes? or about the movie in general. Let me know in the comments, I'm always curious at hearing people's opinions. Until next time, Nuff Said and Excelsior.